Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you episode 15 of my regrowth series. Um, this mod pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher under the third party packs tab and was created by the Phoenix Lodge. Um, so last episode we did some deep ocean diving and got ourselves some coral, found a loot chest, um, got ourselves some ancient sand, and I think I made the heat glass, did I make it on the episode or did I make it in between? Um, I can't remember, but I do have myself some heat resistant bottles now, and that's what I was after with that goal so or that adventure so let's come down here we'll get our sword ready just in case there's some dire wolves down here you can never be too careful um looks good um so i've been doing a little bit of work off camera i crafted a few things to get some quests wrapped up so i made a compartment from benny's core um a compartment controller i'm not going to use that just yet but this thing's really nifty you can pump stuff into it and if you have it beside one of these it'll fill all of these in their proper um well as long as you don't have empty ones like i do i'd have to go through and fill all these but it will whatever you pump into that drawer controller will put it in usually it's respectable spots unless you got empty drawers like this oh that drives me that always scares me when i hear that but there must be caves around here and the ender minis are attacking um the creepers so i also made a waypoint compass for the atlas and then i made the fish feeder some fish food and a basic cooling upgrade, but I'm not ready to use these just yet, so that'll be coming up soon. I do want to check this thing out with you guys, because this thing's supposed to be pretty nifty. Um, apparently you can label the different types of storages, so you got four different storage compartments in here, I think. So if I put a piece of bronze in there and then go here, yeah, so... You can store different things and then you can label them with an icon or you can name them or both I'm pretty sure and you can color them different colors so you can like have all your ores or whatever in one and then have like Mari culture stuff in this one. Not very big storage but you do have four different storage compartments in it so that's kind of neat. I don't know if I will actually use these or not. I'll play around with them off camera a little bit and see what they're like. Um, yeah, so let's take a quick look at the questing book and we will knock these out of the way. We'll claim their rewards. So this one just needed to craft one. And this explains, I'm pretty sure, what it actually does. Um, I'm not going to read it for you guys. I suck at reading. So, But we get seven more compartment storages. Um, up here, this thing, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says the drawer up to 12 blocks away, so a controller will feed items into drawers up to 12 blocks away. I think that might actually not be true. I think it will go farther than the 12 blocks, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. So for this one, we get eight spruce drawers, so we'll claim that. And then this one's basically telling you how to use the waypoint compass. And I think it makes it so that you can put waypoints in your atlas when you've got maps in it. But I don't have any maps in mine right now because I put them up on the wall. But we get 32 empty maps, uh, waypoint compass, two of them. So we'll claim that. And we'll dump this stuff into here because I don't need it at the moment. Oh, I want my bronze back though. Bronze doesn't go in there. And that's something else is I made a bunch of bronze off camera. Very easy to make. You just need three copper and one tin in the smeltery. 
Um, 48 millibuckets and 16 millibuckets, that equals 3 ingots, and 1 ingot will get you, I think, 4 ingots, but I'm not sure. I don't know, I did it two times, I filled it as full as I could, and got myself a bunch of blocks and whatnot, but I needed the bronze, Ooh. so that I could make a carpenter. So this thing is made with eight bronze. I don't know. Most people probably know how to make a carpenter by now. It's a really old mod. So you need a sturdy casing, some more bronze, and some glass. Gets you the carpenter. And that should complete a quest for me too. I think there's one other one in here I gotta claim. Oh yeah, the fish stuff. The world enables, so that got us the carpenter, and we get 16 water cans for that. Now it wants us to make a centrifuge, and a squeezer. I'm definitely going to be going after the squeezer. This, I'm pretty sure both of these are, are for the bees, and this one looks like it unlocks something else for the bees. So, But this is how you extract the stuff from your hum honeycombs. And this you can use for making juice and getting seed oil, which is going to help you make apiaries, I think they're pronounced. So, haven't done really much else in this category. Um, so let's back up and we need to find the one with the fish stuff in it. Um... Encoding of the world. So the fish feeder will get us bottles of fish food. So first it wanted us to craft the fish feeder and then fish meal. And then it wanted to craft a basic cooling. I haven't read all of this yet. I'm not going to read it for you guys. You guys can read it in your own books. Um, so we'll claim that reward. Oh, and we have unlocked an apiary, so... That is our next bee quest, is to make an apiary, which I will probably be doing very soon. My throat is getting froggy, so just give me a second. There we go. <clears throat> oh, a little bit better. So let's dump some of this stuff that I don't need. Oh, I want this, because we are going to put that up somewhere. And what I want to do for the rest of the episode is make some steel and try and get a blast furnace. You dire wolf, you leave me alone. Get out of my base. Like, you guys should not be allowed to spawn here. You got any friends? No? Okay, so I'm going to put the carpenter right above there and it should get power when I hook it up. It doesn't really have anything that says it has power. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be using that this episode or in a future episode. I don't think I'll get to it this episode. I hear you, but where are you? I don't want you sneaking up on me. So, I want to make some steel. Actually, no, I want to make some titanium. Sorry, you guys. So, basically, I want to show you what I've been doing with this. Um, I've been taking the quick lime and melting it down, and then mixing the um, magne or the quick lime with water to get magnesium. No, will not the item hopper. We need one more bucket of water in here. So there's a piece of magnesium in here already, but I will quickly show you guys how to make it. So what I've been doing is I've been making the planter's chalk, like I said. So we'll grab two of these. Um, these will get you uh, two and a half buckets of quicklime. So you just throw them in there. Their melting point is really low. Um, you only need 825 to melt them. And then what I've been doing is, because you can't use a bucket on quicklime. There is no recipe for a bucket of quicklime. So what I have been doing, let me just find one of my bottles and grab it here. This is why it went and got the ancient sand because you need the ancient sand in order to craft these. You need heat resistant glass which comes from smelting ancient sand. 
And then what you can do is you can just take a bottle and transfer it like that so you don't have to worry about using pipes. You can use pipes if you want. It would probably be easier in the long run. Oh, that's only three. We need one more. So you need three buckets of water to four buckets of quicklime. And one of these bottles will be a bucket, uh, like when you take it out of here. So, And then voila, it only uses one bucket of water to make the quicklime. But you need the three in order to make it, I'm pretty sure. Like if I were to dump four of these in here right now. Yeah, it won't make it without the fourth buckets or the third bucket of water. So it only uses one, but you have to have the three buckets in there in order to make it. So, and this just controls how much I'm putting in. Like the pipes, you can't really control and tell it, hey, stop at four buckets of quicklime. It'll always dump in too much or whatever. And I'm pretty sure you need a four by four vat because I don't think uh, one like a single vat by itself will hold enough liquid in order to make quicklime. So, but I could be wrong on that. I didn't try it. I just made myself a couple more vats. So now that you have the quicklime, if you want, you can either smelt it down because this is one for one ingot. Or what I've been doing is I've been putting it into ingot form. So I want to melt one of these and one of these and we'll see if that gets us titanium because the rutile ore only gets you impure and you need to mix it with titanium or magnesium to get the titanium so this is probably going to take the magnesium doesn't take long to melt but the impure titanium does and like I said, in a future update, like I'm pretty sure in 0 0.8, he's going to change it so that you can only melt rutile in a blast furnace from what the change logs say. That's my understanding of it. So I'm trying to take advantage of this while I can. It means I'm going to, it's going to take more for me to craft the blast furnace because like I said, he's changing the blast furnace recipe, but it's easier to deal with the titanium recipe here than it is in the future so and that got us one ingot of titanium so let's dump that out and let's make ourselves three more kind of sucks because you're using two ingots and you're only getting one back from it but oh well um, I'm growing rutile now, so impure titanium's not really that hard to get. I'm pretty sure I got like three stacks of it right now. <clears throat> Just from spreading my seeds around. Um, I need more than four of those, don't I? So let's melt another three, and another three, and another three... And another three and see what that gets us. So while that is doing that, let's take a look at what we need to craft a blast furnace. Because I think there's more to it. So I'm going to need some construction brick, which I don't think I've prepped yet. And I'm going to need some imperial blocks, which I'm pretty sure I have some of those. Uh, blaze essence and sheet of titanium which we can get from the rolling machine we can get four of them from four ingots and i only need four so that's why i was only making four grab our sword because i heard a dire wolf i just don't know where he is um where would i be keeping that stuff if i had it Block of coal, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, what's in my blocks chest? Block of coal, obsidian, charcoal block. There's the infernal brick that we need. Oh yeah, and I need to craft like 
30 some of these blocks I'm pretty sure because this is a 3 by 4 by 4 hollow so I might craft one block with you guys and then take a cut and craft the rest of them because it might take me a while to get them all especially seeing how I've only got nine burnt bricks so I'm gonna have to make some more burnt bricks which isn't that hard let me just grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of those. Make ourselves another vat. I could have swore I made some of this off camera, but apparently not. Is there anything in here? Can you cast? No. Nope. That one's empty. This one's got some in it. So. For now, I'm just going to put the vat in here. I'll probably move this vat eventually. And we're going to put a tank of lava right there. Let's put one. That'll make four, eight, and so on, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12 of those, I think I pulled one out, didn't I, yes. Um, this should all be melted down. How many do we have in here now? Nine, perfect. Let's make a block of titanium. I just, I want to show you guys making the plates before I actually take my cut. So, oh, yeah, that's right. That goes into here. That means I put something in here? No. So let's grab that. Break this down into ingots. We're going to come over to the rolling machine because this is a cheaper recipe. Oh yeah, I already got a recipe in here. So to make iron plates, let's flip this lever on and get some power running to it. Hopefully. Oh, I'm going to turn these back on too so I can start putting water in. Um, what I've got is I've got a uh, 3 by 3 hole down there with water with the pump directly over the center. And then I just ran some pipes to it. I don't know if I explained that to you guys the last episode or not. And then, yeah, just the pipes running off of here. This is probably a temporary setup. I probably don't plan on keeping this like this. Ooh, we got 14 RF. Come on. I only need to make one of these for now. I don't think I need any more than that. Oh. Seriously, just want to turn mobs off. Oh, that's going to take a minute. Um, Let's go check on our burnt bricks while it makes that. I need that for one of the quests to complete the quest. It was part of the rolling machine quest, I'm pretty sure. So there's all our burnt bricks, and we can make one more. I'm going to have to make even more of those, because I know that's not going to be enough. I need to make 36 of these. Oh, this recipe makes 9. So, 9 for the bottom, 9 for the top, and then I need to make this recipe 4 times. So yeah, I think I'm going to need some more titanium too. Maybe not though. Just in case, let's throw some more in to cook, because that will probably take a little while to make. So, three of these. Let's do four. Actually, let's just do it all. And the magnesium. And I might have to melt down some more. Rutile. Oh, I got more rutile right there. 
which I can just transfer into ingots. Let's put one there and three. Oh, no, that's my titanium. Give me that back. Um, we want this. So one of those there, three of these here. There we go. Let's go check on the rolling machine. Get this off my hot bar. We got four plates. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make that. It'll get us two. I need to make two more sets. So, and this will always keep the last set in here until you click on this to craft it. It's kind of so that you can pump more metals into it and it'll keep that one recipe type thing. So, keep that in mind when you're doing stuff. If you, it's not crafting it and you're thinking it's out of energy, it's probably just because you have to click this. And this thing will always use energy even when it's not crafting anything. So if you are done with it, it's probably better to shut down your engines. This thing will always suck energy too, if I'm not mistaken. But it's got no power bar on it, so you can't really tell. Actually, if I look at it, does it tell me if it's got energy? Yes, it does. Well, it doesn't say it's using energy, but I'm pretty sure if you leave this hooked up, it should always use energy but I'm not sure is this gonna blow up on me if I leave this running uh, we'll leave it for a second and see if our rutile is ready or our titanium we got nine ingots again so we'll just make one of these and i'm going to take a quick cut and i will be back in a minute the wife has just walked through the door so i will be back in a minute i will get all that stuff ready for you guys and then we will craft a blast furnace so see you guys in a bit okay guys i am back sorry about that but um it was probably a good time to cut anyways because i had to do a bunch of manual work that i doubt you guys wanted to see on camera anyways just made a bunch more burnt brick. Um, I already had the infernal brick, so I crafted this stuff off camera, the brick construction block. Very easy. Just some burnt bricks and some iron bars. Ooh. Um, so, I've got the recipe all laid out already. So each one of these crafts gets you nine, and this is a three by three, so I think you need like 34 blocks. I could be wrong on that though, but I know I need four crafts of it, which will get us 36 bricks. I don't know why this recipe makes it so you get extra bricks. Kind of makes no sense to me, but oh well. Oh, and before we place this down, that should have completed some quests for me. So, in the wor what the world enables, um, because we had made the titanium, we get this quest unlocked. Um, it wanted rutile, nether, rutile ore, and then it wanted magnesium, and then titanium. So, we get 32 nether brick for that, and 4 titanium ingots. And then it, this got unlocked because I had made the four steel plates. So it wanted rolling machine and a hobbyist steam engine. And then it wanted you to make four iron plates in the, whatchamacallit, rolling machine. So that gets us 16 cold coke and five mechanist. So we'll claim that one, and then because I just crafted the blast furnace, that unlocked this one. That's all it wanted. This will probably just explain how to make steel out of it, and it looks like refined steel. Um, produce steel and refine it. So that gets us four titanium and four steel ingots. We'll claim that reward. And then, that also opened up a few other quests. So we have down here, feel full steam ahead, sorry. 
Um, it wants a solid fueled boiler firebox and some low pressure boiler tanks. It wants one of each. So, and I'll read through this off camera. Like I said, I don't really like reading this stuff on camera just because I suck so bad at reading. And then this one, feeling tanky. This is going to be to make the railcraft tanks. So it wants some iron tank walls, some iron tank gauges, and some iron tank valves. So, and I'm pretty sure I can make this all with the rolling machine. Let's just type in tank. You're going to be way down at the bottom because of agricraft. So, the walls, iron tank walls. Can we make steel ones in this? I know there was steel tanks. Yeah, steel, iron, gauge. Oh, cool. We can make steel ones, too. And they hold, like, double what an iron one would. So, that is cool. So, the walls are going to be made from four plates. Very easy. You get four or er, eight iron tank walls. The gauges are just some um, four plates and five glass panes. And the gauges are iron bars, plates, and a lever. So I'm going to be making a lot of these plates off camera. I'll probably only make one of the iron tanks and then I'll make some steel tanks. So there is that. Let us set up our blast furnace like so. And then I can start getting steel. Because I need to make a steel pickaxe head anyway. So that way I can go to the nether and finish that nether quest. That's not where I want you. So basically you want to fill in the whole top. The whole bottom. The back. The sides. Most of you guys probably know this already. Just in case. Let's do this. And you want the two blocks in the center hollow. And that got us a blast furnace. Let me just put a torch here because I had a torch here before. Hopefully I can put it on there. Yep. So let's go grab some iron. Some iron. Something's making noise. Should probably have my sword out. So I think to cook a whole stack of iron you need two stacks of coal coke. In order to make a whole stack of steel. So, and of course I have none in there. I know I have coal coke, I just don't know how much. Should be in this one. Oh, I got three stacks. Three and... Oh, I got way more. I got... So I have three and three quarter stacks of coal coke. And then we'll throw this in here. And this is going to take a while to cook. Like this is not a fast process. You can do it with um, charcoal too. You don't need to use coal coke. But charcoal is very inefficient. Like you would probably for a stack of charcoal. I think you get half of what you get from coal coke I think. And then the other thing I wanted to point out. I was a little bit wrong on what I had said here. Um, I remember the rolling machine always using power whether you were crafting something with it or not. But apparently that is not the case. I don't know if that's something to do with this pack where the config has been changed. Or if it's just because it's 1.7. I haven't used the rolling machine since 1.6.4. So. And then this thing doesn't look like it's using energy either to be hooked up. So... I was totally wrong on that, and I am very sorry I gave you guys false information, but that was just from my experience with previous packs type things, so. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I've got everything that I wanted done this episode. Um, I'm probably going to craft a few things, like I'm going to get the centrifuge ready to go, because this one unlocks... A quest elsewhere let's just take a quick look at that recipe I don't think it's very hard and apparently I can't spell um 
So some copper and another sturdy casing. So basically all your built or your forestry machines are going to require this sturdy casing. So and then the metals on the outside usually change like the carpenter was um, bronze. This one's copper. And then what else did we need? We needed the squeezer. Squeeze. Squeezer. The squeezer. Yeah, this one requires tin instead of copper or bronze. So, yeah, like everyone's going to require this sturdy casing, which is fairly easy to make. It's only eight bronze, and bronze can be made in the smeltery and in the crucible furnace if you guys rather use this crucible furnace but i like the smeltery better because you don't have to constantly keep this or you got to constantly keep something fueling this to keep it hot whereas this when it's done whatever it's doing I, it will stop using your lava so that's why i have two smelteries i was gonna do I was going to try and automate all of this, like the making of the titanium, into this. So I might still do it. And that's why this drains backwards, was so I could dump the magnesium into there. But um, i got to melt it down anyways. So, yeah. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, I might try and get these done in between episodes but i don't really have a stable power system for that yet we kind of need to get into this area of the steam so i'll probably work on this before i start to work on those lasers um this one i'm not too worried about oil's kind of far away for me to get unless i find some in the ground underneath me i know my island doesn't have any on it so I've already explored everything on my island and I'm pretty sure that was added after I had generated my little island here so yeah and it's dark out it's close gates um I'm trying to get that done I don't think you guys have actually seen really the final design of it yet so that's kind of what I'm going with I think for my greenhouse just got mana glass. I thought that kind of looked cool. I know it doesn't. Well, I don't know. I kind of like it. It looks good so far. So the wife really likes it. So I'll probably just keep going up. I do want to kind of do a little bit under the water too. Um, I have those water breathing seeds now. So I can make the really OP potions for the water breathing. And where are they? I think they're down at the bottom. Where, oh, where are you? Yeah, these ones from Magical Crops. Like, this one's 15 minutes of underwater breathing, and this one's 25 minutes, and it's just strong essence. Water bottle and a water breathing petal, so I'll probably make a bunch of them so I can work underneath that in the water. So, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, leave me a like. Helps me out a lot. Consider subscribing if you're not already. Let's you know when I have new videos out. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.